Okay, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I'm back again. <laughs> uh, I want to bring your attention to an article um, that comes from Zero Hedge. Uh, so we'll just get straight into it. Okay, so this is the uh, so this is the item from Zero Hedge, um, entitled "Blockbuster Report Reveals How Biden Family Was Compromised by China," and I think their introduction is quite important. Uh, they say, uh, in a day when half the US population remained transfixed by the ongoing revelations about the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop, and the other half was doing everything in its power to ignore the news, which the socials have conveniently been desperate to censor, a far less noticed, but just perhaps just as important investigative report authored by the unknown Typhoon Investigations was released by Christopher Balding, and Christopher Balding is Associate Professor at Beijing University HSBC School of Business, Shenzhen, China. And he's also a Bloomberg uh, uh, contributor. So uh, his pedigree, I would say, is pretty impeccable. And this is the... Um, the uh, the cited article, and he says here, uh, a number of months ago I was approached by an individual that I had known for the better part of a decade. I'd known this individually, individual professionally and enjoyed their company and deep insight into our overlapping professional interests. Consequently, I would not infrequently seek out their professional opinion. They had written a research report for a client worried about political risk involved background on the Bidens in China. Um, this individual believed that the information that had been discovered and with the approval of the client needed to make its way into the public domain. So they asked for my help in putting the research paper in the hands of the press, asking them just to use the information for their own professional purposes, leaving the report anonymous. Knowing this individual and the quality of the work they do, I agreed after reviewing in detail the report that was produced. So I don't know if this has gone anywhere. He talks about the press. I don't know whether it's gone beyond uh, Zero Hedge. Anyway, I'll just uh, go through a few, a few of the background things here. Um, for two months, I've worked on behalf of my colleague to ensure that this report helped others report on the documented evidence of Biden activities with regard to China. I want to emphasize a couple of things about my own involvement. First, I did not write the report and I'm not responsible for the report. I've gone over the report with a fine tooth comb and can find nothing actually factually wrong with the report. Everything is cited and documented. Arguably, the only weakness is that we do not have the internal emails between Chinese players or the Chinese and the Bidens that would make explicit what the links clearly imply. Second, I would not be disclosing the individual who did write the report. They have a very valid reasons to fear for the, both their personal safety and professional risk. Throughout the years that I've known this individual, we have never discussed politics. I have never heard them criticize any political other than the Chinese Communist Party, and they are not Republican. Thirdly, it was my very real wish that the press would have reported on the documented evidence in this report and left me and the author entirely out of this situation. I did not vote for Trump in 2016 and will not vote for him in 2020. The information, however, is entirely valid public interest information that the press has simply refused to cover due to their own partisan wishes. I have seriously pol policed 
serious policy differences with President Trump. I'm pro-immigration. I would like to see more uh, free trade efforts to shift tr trade away from China and into partner countries from Mexico to Vietnam and India. I believe that institution building in Asia is vital and America needs to take that lead. However, I cannot in good conscience allow documented evidence of the variety presented here to go unreported by partisans who are simply choosing to hide the information. Finally, I will not be answering any questions about the report. I have no wish to be involved in presidential politics. I do not wish to be on the news. I will not be answering any questions about who wrote the report. We need to focus uh, on the known documentary facts. So this is the uh, report that he is bringing out. And I'll leave the, all the links to all of this in the description box below. And uh, here goes a summary, which I won't, uh, I won't read. Uh, you can find this in the paper uh, itself. There is a sort of summary, which I will present it right at the end of this. So he presents various uh, charts, how uh, flow charts on how Hunter received Chinese state money. On the CPC's cultivation of the Bidens. And um, this shows the relationship uh, suggesting US uh, Democrat leaders with communist leaders in China and North Korea. While there's official state to state dialogue and relationships between US and Chinese leader, just one or two levels below are connected to business arrangements with their relatives and associates who are always the personal res recipients of Chinese state money. So I will read this. Um, Joe Biden's compromising partnership with the, sorry, uh, uh, something rather, China runs by Yang Ji uh, CPC's uh, Central Foreign Affairs Commission. Yang met frequently with Biden during his tenure at the Chinese Embassy in Washington. Hunter Biden's 2013 Bohai Harvest Rosemont uh, Investment Company partnership was set up by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Institutes who are tasked with garnering influence with foreign leaders during Yang's tenure as foreign minister. Hunter has a direct line to the Politburo, according to Source A, a senior finance professional in China. Michael Lin, a Taiwanese national now detained in China, brokered the BHR partnership and partners with MOFA. Uh, foreign influence organizations. Um, Lin is a person of influence for his work on behalf of China as confirmed by Source B and Source C at two separate national intelligence agencies. BHR is a state managed operation. Leading shareholders in BHR is a Bank of China which lists BHR as a subsidiary. And BHR's partners are SOEs that funnel revenue assets to BHR. Hunter continues to hold 10% in uh, BHR. He visited China in 2010 and met with major Chinese government financial companies that would later back BHR. Hunter's BHR stake purchased for 400 thousand dollars is now likely to be worth approximately 50 million dollars fees and capital appreciation based on BHR's 6.5 million AUM as stated by Michael Lin. Hunter also did business with Chinese tycoons linked uh, with the Chinese military and against the interests of US 
national security. Biden's foreign policy stance towards China, uh, formerly hawkish, turned positive despite China's country's rising geopolitical uh, assertiveness. So there we are. Um, this is a very, very important um, research that is politically uh, neutral, and I think it, it warrants further attention.